Good morning zookeepers and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we're making an enclosure for the skunk and I'm going to make it nice and simple. Now you see I've only ever seen skunks twice in captivity and both times enclosures have been very underwhelming. I've never actually seen probably what you maybe class as a good example of the skunk. I mean I'm not too sure like I've never actually researched skunks that much and I've never actually looked into housing and what could make the housing better theming wise as well as sort of enrichment and look wise like both times I've seen skunks in captivity one the enclosure was like an old chicken shed a bit like what I'm making right now and then the other one was what I'd probably explain as like the guinea pig rabbit kind of enclosure it was sort of like made out of wood logs it's pretty short like low down so you could look over into it and then in the corner I'd probably describe it as like a hedgehog box that kind of thing as it's housing so it wasn't like much to go off I mean I could have researched I could have like gone and looked up skunk enclosures but I was too excited to sort of just get in there and make the enclosure itself just so I could see the skunks and place down all the enrichment and see what they do as in this game like Frontier had done a great job at making the skunks they look incredible they look so cute and like it really took me away with this enclosure as well, I just made it simple. We've been in a chicken shed, I didn't want to over plant it, so I was like basically using my favourite grass, the buffalo grass, and then using the dried out variant, sinking it into the ground, so it looks like obviously it's slowly dying off, it's not getting enough sunlight, it's been over stepped on, and things like this, so it's not got that much growth going on. And I feel like it goes for like an interesting look, and then adding plants sparsely, so there is something in there, and <laughs> look at the skunk just appear out of that bush. It's, it's really cute and I really, I spent ages watching these because they're absolutely adorable. But um, yeah, if you actually do have any examples of like a skunk enclosure you'd like to share, I have a Discord that you can join, there'll be a link in the uh, description below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching it elsewhere, there should be a link on my main page to one of my socials which then will sort of send you over there. I do make Linktree, but like it seems to sort of disappear after a while. And I have to remake it. I don't know if it's because I'm using the free variant and that's just what happens. It self deletes after a while. I, I don't really know how that works or why that's doing that. But nevertheless, there is a link somewhere on most of my socials to a Discord. And you can share it in there or you can send it to me on Instagram or tag me on Instagram or even do it on the Facebook page and things like this. But nevertheless, like I would love to see these enclosures. And if you have good examples of real world skunk enclosures, again, feel free to send me them because I probably will might see them eventually because I kind of want to make another skunk enclosure. We'll try and make it very pretty. I think what I might do in a sense, I might try and do like the Xbox, uh, Xbox Zoo Tycoon style enclosure for them. So I feel like that would be quite a nice, interesting exhibit for them. But yeah, I really enjoyed them, and the look at their faces, it just makes you melt. Like, like I say, Frontier's just done a great job with making these skulls. Like, I really did enjoy them, watch them play around with the enrichment and things like this. If you do want a small enclosure to fill out a space you need filling out, I have put this on Workshop. I do plan to work on it a bit in the future, add a bit more like making like ceiling supports and things like that. So I'm looking at it and it looks a bit barren in that sense. So I'll probably go back and make ceiling supports and more supports around the, like the walls and make the building more like structured in a sense. So I did, it only took me about 20 to 30 minutes to make this. Like I was just sort of taking my time and enjoying myself. I'm gonna say make this, there's also recording the scrubs doing their thing. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.